sort of tra try to translate it to um, uh, our world. Uh, in the old days, we, we had X automation. Um, we still call it that way, by the way. It's the early stages where you look at the technology being injected in tax workflows. Then you, uh, and that's sort of the stage we are at. We have tax function transformation. Uh, so you you look at digital transformation of workflows in tax as well as teams. Uh, but you need to go to digitalization where basically the whole your whole starting point is not tax law, but is data. What, which portion of the data is sitting where and should be used for tax purposes? And if if you and that's sort of the the article, I think everyone has read or should read at least before the, the next event. That it's this uh, smart automation uh, by Jeff, uh, the Paul Pau Technologies. Uh, where he basically says, um, in the old days we call it tax automation, then we said there's a function being digitally transformed, and now we need to go into digitization, which is a totally, uh, a fundamentally and, and rudimentary different approach to data. And, and why? Because um, the tax team is a, is a is a huge user of data in, in enterprises, but is hardly involved in the creation of data and the storage of data. And that's where a lot of things go wrong. This is uh, the next phase, if you look at the next slide. So what if we, we throw all of that uh, data, which is relevant for taxes? So you start with transactional data, but you add everything on HR profiles or whatever you need. It's all in the cloud. And so that this rapid technology change will impact the tax world. So cloud ERP means that the entire application is in the cloud and shared by any number of customers, which is great. Then everything is in the cloud. So the idea of hosting is great, but you lose your customization. So you put tax data in the cloud. You can't customize it anymore. So you can't do customized application like TPG anymore, simply because it, it is um, it is created, stored, and extracted in one manner only, the way SAP looks at it, or the way Oracle looks at it, or uh, the way Azure looks at it. Um, so ERP vendors are uh, th 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 this by beefing up their tax capabilities. The tax engine in uh, in the SAP is very light right now. That's why you have all these different software packages. On the other side, uh, ERP obviously has the promise of uh, enabling data analytics a lot better because they have smarter engines who've been fed with a lot of big data already and know how to contextualize and do data analytics in a smarter way than uh, just your own AI tool, which only has been fed with limited data. 